and we are here doing Park Bench and I'm going to introduce you to a friend today who also works in our 34231 zip code and that is Martin Brownhill. Hi Martin, how are you today? Good Maggie, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Well, you could start with where we were when you first met me and the mess I was in and how you fixed that and how you ended up here. Well, I think going back uh, originally, um, I have a degree in marketing and I have a, none of, I'm a qualified accountant in the UK. Uh, I'm also a global ma uh, management accountant, which is an American and the UK qualification. So what I've done in my past is I've worked for some large corporations in finance and general management and marketing and, and sales. And what I always got given was the messes. I either got the, the, the organizations that were in trouble or the new ones that needed starting up. Um, I bought a company in Argentina for them. I worked for an armored car company that was in um, a severe mess, which we fixed up. Uh, I started a company in Canada from 8 million to 60 million in six months. Um, I took 50% of the, of the cost out of a $50 million company in the, in the US. So I've worked for some large companies. I've worked in 52 countries in, in, in my time. And I've always worked in turnarounds or startups or whatever. So a few years ago, I decided that I would take the experience that I have in corporate global management and operate more in the small business community. Um, so I have various products, I do some coaching, I do some consulting, and I have another product we'll talk about in a minute. Um, but I tend to gravitate to people that have, a, have issues that need fixing. <laughs> and you did have some issues I that guess did I fixing. did. <laughs> I mean, you did fix them. So, um, basically what I believe, my tagline for my company is the Roadmap to Small Business Success. What I always did in my corporate environment, in, companies I was managing was build a solid business plan. A lot of people build business plans in November for the next year and it sits gathering dust for the next 12 months. Mine were active road roadmaps. They were Excel based spreadsheets that actually mirrored what the company was going to do um, so that six months down the road we had a pretty clear idea when we were going to come, come across the roadblock, not six minutes before it actually happened. So I try and do that with my clients. Um, if I'm coaching them, I just work with them to help them hone their skills. If I'm consulting, I actually do whatever is necessary to um, to, to, to help Sorry. them. I have a new product, it's called Martin's Draw. What I found with small business owners is they all have something they don't like doing, or don't want to do, or don't know how to do, which invariably have to be done. So what I do with them is I go regularly to visit them, they put that in a drawer. I open the drawer and fix it for them. I normally also do a, a monthly review of their business um, and a quarterly review and help them with their plans at the same time. So that product is just really to fill in the gaps. One of the things we found is a corporate CEO of a, of a Fortune 1000 a company, if he has an issue, will either hire a consultant to fix it or just hire an employee to fix it. Uh, where small business owners tend to have the same thing, they also need a consultant to fix it or they need someone to train them how to do it properly. So I just try and work with, with my uh, owners to identify what their problems are. Very often I find they don't actually know what the real problem is. Yeah. So the first art of solving problems is to identify it. Once you've identified it, it it's much easier to do. Um, I also do some peer board advisory groups where I get groups of CEOs of like minds together. Uh, they'll meet kind of once a month. Most small business owners don't have a board of directors. So what my groups do is they back so they become their own board of directors, meet, help swap ideas, help each other out, and then I'll do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with them to, to deliver what they want to do at the same time. I like that. That's a great idea. There's, I, I like a think-think approach to solving build business problems and I believe that you know it it fits so well into the business brokerage part of what I do and that when I'm interviewing someone I find out so often that the biggest thing that's happening to them in the business is they're so overwhelmed with it 
that they're, they don't know why they have a problem, and the problem is something usually, well, the problem is what we don't know is we don't know we don't know it, but it's usually something very, that can be corrected, but they're so buried under it they can't see it. Well, yeah, and also most business owners don't have anyone to talk to. They, yeah. I mean, they'll talk to their family and, get, and their accountants and get, and their attorneys and get a very sort of quality of advice. But there's nothing like getting eight other business owners in a room um, that are going through the same things um, and can help them talk through uh, what, they're, what they're doing or come to a communal solution. I mean, some of my boards, you know, I've got 40 years of experience, but very often there will be an average 15 to 20 years of experience amongst the board members. So you could have 200 years of experience in one room helping people solve individual problems. So it is a very powerful thing to do. Um, and it just gives people uh, that normally wouldn't have anyone to, to talk to and discuss and get out from under. But very often you just get too close to two issues yeah. and you can't really see the wood for the trees. So just having someone else objectively look at it uh, can be a very positive thing. Either on a one-on-one -on -one basis with my coaching or I saw it in a group group session too. I like that. I like that a lot. I did not realize that you had branched off into such a broad spectrum of ability to consult and advise and guide. Yeah, sometimes it's a, it's a blessing and sometimes it's, it's, it's not. It's a daunting you know. challenge? <laughs> well, sometimes it's difficult to exactly focus on. I mean, people ask me what I do and it's difficult to, to explain it yeah. in 30 seconds because I do a whole lot of different things. Uh, but my main thing, which is why the tagline the roadmap to small business success, is whatever I'm doing, some consulting, coaching, or a peer advisory board, the whole idea is that that business owner identifies where he wants to be in the next week, next month, and at the end of his business career. Awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope we can have you back. You're very welcome. And talk Happy again. Time, Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.